Hello there guys and welcome to the third and last part of this series. It's been a blast and you guys have been awesome in your support. Check the description if you want to know this comic and tell us your thoughts on everything Vader did in this series. Much more to come soon, but for now, it was Vader who requested a world of his own, Mustafar, and his master was happy to oblige. Followed by the royal guards, Sidious and his apprentice were walking along as the Emperor was rewarding Vader with everything he wished. Furthermore, Sidious issued a special artisan for Vader's castle design. He assured him of her wonderful designs. He did have his suspicions though of why Vader chose Mustafar specifically. But he had to ask, why Mustafar? Vader stood silent. Sidious asked him again, why did he choose Mustafar? Vader went on to explain. Back when Sidious sent Vader to bleed his kyber crystal, inside that dark side locust, he saw deeper into the force than ever before. Vader believed that inside that place, things were possible that were otherwise impossible anywhere else. Ah, now Sidious understood. He was very pleased. He called Vader the perfect Sith. He truly lets nothing go. He pushed Vader even more. He told him that perhaps his Padme is awaiting him on Mustafar, and with the help of the dark side, she might be brought back someday. Either way, he was about to learn much out there. After all, Vader's power meant Sidious gaining power as well. At this point, Sidious had given a lot to Vader, a ship, a world. Now for one final gift. Behold, the Mask of Lord Momin, a powerful Sith artifact that the Jedi had kept inside their temple in secret. Sidious went on to explain that Momin was a rare breed among the Sith. He preferred to create rather than destroy. His uses for the Force will perhaps never be replicated again. Same as Vader, Lord Momin also took unusual paths with the help of the Dark Side. He instructed Vader Vader to take the mask to Mustafar, perhaps it will help him in some way. Vader though was puzzled. He had never heard of this Lord Momin. Well, both the Jedi and the Sith deemed him as a heretic. Therefore his story was unfortunately suppressed. Then how did Palpatine found out about him, asked Vader. Well, the mask told him. Fast forward to Vader on Musafar meditating on the dark side of the force inside the locus where all of his energy was focused. In the meantime, Colonel Bren was slowly coming up with the initial designs for Vader's castle and once she finished, Bren entered the locus and well, she was impressed with the ancient designs of this place. However, she was finally done. She showed her designs to Lord Vader, however, Vader was not impressed. He refused the designs and without protesting, Bren simply walked back to the ship, talking to Rogo from the outside, yelling at him to prep the drinks for another long night of work. But suddenly she stopped. A loud blast was heard. Vader stood up and walked over to the Nubian, where he found Bren shot and killed. Inside, a strange character was on Bren's workspace, but when he turned to face Vader, it was the mask of Lord Momin. He had come alive. Vader slashed at the body who supposedly is of Lieutenant Rogo, but as he approached, he marveled at Momin's creation, the final design for Vader's castle. So since this is the last page and it says to be continued, guess what? We will continue with the story once they release the next issue in three days, my friends. Issue number 22 will be released Wednesday, so we'll have more for you then. But with this episode, we are done with Darth Vader issue number 21. Now, it left us with a cliffhanger, so a lot more to come in the next couple of days. Until then, I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up down below. Also, so hit that bell to get notified the moment a new video is up. Have an awesome day, my Star Wars friends, and may the Force be with you always.